welcome back in previous video I just show you how I made a feed screw and the point of making this feed screw it was to slightly make it longer so it allows me to pull the um, cross slide slightly further back and also I can place truss bearing um, to this end to begin with I use piece of mild steel to make the bracket and I already uh, measured all the dimension and I had a drawing with me so I did the rough cut to simply turn down the part to the specific dimension and the first task was to make a um, cap for the truss bearing so I center thread the bar and used a few thread bits to make a around 10 millimeter hole at the center of the bar and simply remove some material from the face and make a housing for the truss bearings after doing the housing I simply part of the face and sit, uh, I had my cap ready this, the second part was the bracket itself so I repeat the process removed some materials from the face made a housing for second sets of truss bearing and while I was doing the, all the cuts uh, I try not to remove the bar from the chalk or move it around because all I wanted were uh, all the parts to be concentric and after finishing the face I marked about 3 4 of the length and simply turn it down to the smaller diameter I didn't want my uh, my bracket to be very basic or just a round bar so I put slightly remove some material from the uh, lower base and also put a chamfer between the bigger diameter and smaller diameter and simply part of the uh, bracket if you are enjoying this type of video um, I would appreciate if you take your time and click on the subscribe button and support the channel it helps me to create a better content for my channel kind of I know
here is all the part I made uh, this is the leader screw bracket so it's one centimeter is the bigger than the old one so I leave it just aside to assemble it simply simply I place my truss bearing in there like this and you slide in and from the top also another truss bearing slides in like this and the cap also slide to the top exactly like this it turns nicely um, there is at some point I feel a little bit of resistance but it's not much a point the tolerance between the shaft and the bracket is about 0.1 millimeter is not there is no uh, movement at all into the part so if I move it or shake it back and forth you see no noise at all right so here here's all the parts and simply to put it in place I place the first is bracket in the Just quickly, quickly put the handle just to turn the feeder screw in place, like this. So the truss bearings are already packed with the grease. And this one goes on top. And here it is so it spins very nicely very smooth and very concentric and there is not much play into the cross slide and that's a that was the main point of having the truss bearing on to get rid of the backlash the problem with these small lathes is uh, the cross slide is very light it doesn't have that much mass into it and if you're trying to cut apart that slight amount of play can play into the measurement so it's better to have a tighter fit rather than a loose fit and that's why I made this bracket and as you can see there is very slightly gap is right here between the bracket and the cap basically to load the truss bearing and the gap is very little is less than a 0.2 millimeter because if I wanted to make in a way so this two face 
contact each other it means basically the inside the truss bearing could have a loose fit and it could play so with this setup I can preload my truss bearing and it's, the gap is not much so I wouldn't I shouldn't be worried about any depths or dust getting there ideally I should put some clear coat on the bracket because the mild steel and over time it might rust all it lifts I need to um, index the bracket and hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and see you next time